Hey parents, when our babies are hurting, we hurt for our babies. And a really common discomfort is diaper rash, which easily turns into a yeast infection. In this video, you're going to learn how to heal and get rid of that diaper rash fast and naturally. I'm Bridget, a childbirth educator, birth doula, and a mama to two, and I'm devoted to helping families thrive from pregnancy to birth and then beyond. If you're new, make sure you subscribe to this channel and then hit the little bell to stay in the know with all other videos that come your way. Diaper rash is an inflammation of the skin on a baby's diaper area related to wet diapers, skin sensitivity, or infrequent diaper changes. It turns up as a bright red patchy rash that your baby might cry over, scratch at, or just be annoyed over. Usually it goes away pretty quickly when you treat it, air it out, and protect the area. Now to treat it, I personally recommend Pure Lanolin. It's the best product that I have used. I've tried Think Baby, Destin, Coconut Oil, and pure lanolin has always worked the best. The reason being is it's completely natural, it's perfect for sensitive skin, and it works as a barrier that keeps the skin from absorbing wetness. Before every diaper change, you want to put it on, especially at nighttime. Now, airing out the area is also really helpful. You want to try to keep your baby out of their diaper as much as possible, and you can just let them sit or lay on a towel in case they do pee. And then to prevent future rashes, again, you wanna apply lanolin all over their diaper area at night, or if you need to, at each diaper change, and that's going to help protect their skin. You also wanna minimize using diapers that have any fragrances or added chemicals, because that can cause that sense sensitive skin and that area to become inflamed yet again. Now, if the rash doesn't go away within a couple of days, it's likely the result of a yeast infection due to a buildup of a fungus called candida, which grows best in warm and wet places, which is why we see it thrive in diaper areas. Candida also grows in the gut, and an overgrowth of this bacteria can cause imbalances in the body, which sometimes manifest as yeast infections, urinary tract infections, digestive issues, thrush, and others. An overgrowth of candida can be more likely if mama or baby baby are taking antibiotics, if mama is eating a diet high in sugar, if soap or cleaning products that are causing reactions are being used, etc. So if your baby's diaper isn't going away, it's likely that they have a yeast infection and you'd want your pediatrician to diagnose that. Many pediatricians will suggest an over-the-counter antifungal cream, but those have chemicals that you don't necessarily want to be putting on your baby's highly sensitive diaper area. So to naturally get rid of it, you can give your baby a baking soda bath. In a baby tub, you'll put maybe a fourth of a cup of baking soda or in a bigger tub, about half a cup of baking soda and warm bath water. You really only need enough water so that it's going to cover their diaper area. In studies, baking soda has been shown to have antifungal effects and can kill candida cells. It can help raise the pH from being acidic to more alkaline and balanced, which is great for a whole host of skin conditions. So you can give the baking soda bath, air out the area as much as possible, and then start applying lanolin to the area religiously. If it doesn't work right away, do the bath again in another day or two, and this should do the trick. But if it comes back or your baby is also dealing with digestive issues like constipation or reflux, experiencing eczema or getting UTIs, it might be due to a bacterial imbalance in their gut, and it might be a good idea to get them on a probiotic. And the one that we use and that I recommend is Mary Ruth's infant probiotic, which is linked down below. With my own daughter, when we experienced the yeast infection, we did the baking soda bath, we aired it out, we used lanolin, and we gave her the probiotic every day. And it cleared up quickly and with only natural products on her sensitive skin and in her body. So parents, if your little one is struggling with diaper rash or yeast infection, go try out these tips and hopefully soon they'll be feeling much better and your parent heart will be too. Also keep in mind that if you are using those disposable diapers, it might be the chemicals in them that are causing that sensitivity or that yeast buildup. It might be the fragrance and the wipes that you're using that are chemicals in them. So be really cautious about what products you're putting on your baby. And if you are using cloth diaper, it is really important that you are using um, laundry detergent that is 
that is meant for cloth diapers and is really sensitive for their sensitive skin. The detergent that we use for our cloth diapers is Rock and Green, and I will have that linked down below. So hopefully all these tips are going to help your baby's yeast or their diaper rash to clear up. Thanks for being with me in this video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, parents.